Hi, I'm Ron Hansen, the Congressional Reporter for the Arizona Republic, and today we're talking about what it takes to vote in Arizona's elections. For the upcoming primary election that will be held on August 28th, you'll need to be registered to vote by July 30th if you want to vote in that election. You can still register afterward, but you won't be able to vote until the November elections. Early ballots will go out August 1st in Maricopa County, beginning the voting period. It's a good idea to mail your ballot well ahead of the primary election. This gives your ballot time to reach election officials and allows you to check online to ensure your ballot was received. Don't forget to sign the outside envelope containing your ballot. This signature will be compared to the signature officials have on file for you to ensure it was signed by you. If it's very different, your vote may not count. If you vote in person, you'll be asked to present identification. This can include a valid driver's license, a federal ID with an address listed, or tribal enrollment card. It can also include combinations of non-photo IDs, such as recent utility bills and a vehicle registration. If you vote in person, you must vote at your assigned polling location, unless you're in a county with what are known as vote centers. You can look up your polling location by going online here or by contacting your county recorder. If you have an early ballot and didn't mail it in, you don't have to wait in line to drop it off at any polling location in your county. If voting officials don't have you listed in their precinct, you can still cast a ballot, which might count. That ballot is known as a provisional ballot that is kept separate from regular ballots. If you do cast a provisional ballot, you have up to five business days after the election to provide election officials with the identification that they need to ensure that you're eligible to vote. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'm Ron Hansen. Stay tuned to AZ Central for more information on voting and the 2018 elections.